pretty early. Can't tell you the last time I left the house before six o'clock in the morning, but I'm glad I did for several reasons. The first being that if I hadn't gotten up to go fishing, I would be pretty annoyed that there's a crop duster like flying around the neighborhood. Light today, two rod set up, small kayak. I'm gonna try to launch off the side of this little creek off the marsh here. So today's view is gonna be a little different. I'm mounting my GoPro on the head mount instead of the chesty. This is not sketchy. I think it goes from zero to about four feet and instantly. Alright, that went off pretty well. Get my flow troll right behind me. So I looked on Google Earth and right where I'm launching, about a quarter mile up, there's a huge opening. I'm going to try to fish that area because it's a spot where two creeks dump into one area. And I'm thinking flounder may like to congregate there. Also, it's going to help me avoid all the bank fishermen and the pressure from those guys. What a beautiful morning. Man, you can't beat this. Light wind, the birds are singing, the fiddler crabs were, well, doing whatever fiddler crabs do, fiddling, <laughs> I guess. There's not very many people around. I love it. So my plan is to head up in this little area, kind of drift around, hopefully across the channel a few times, cast up around the creek mouth, Few throws with a spoon, then I'll jig a while and hope I can put something in the box. All right, so my first cast up in this spot resulted in a great bite that I missed because I was busy messing around with my flow troll back there. I'm going to try to cast right up in that same spot. Got him! Oh, it's a little fish, but I got him. Feels like a flounder, maybe. What do I got here? Oh, okay. Nice, a little white perch. All right, good deal. I'll take it. It's a good start. I'm pretty sure those guys fishing for perch back there would be stoked. All right, let's see how many inches he is. He is. Exactly, well, a little more than eight. It's supposed to be eight to keep. I'm gonna stick him in the old flow troll for now. Pretty sure I'm gonna let him go in a little bit, but you never know. Would you look at that? I just went to check my bottom rig. <laughs> because it was such a small fish, I didn't realize 
I had a perch on for a while. Ah, got another little guy here. Kind of twins to the other two perch I got just now. All right, this is fun, man. This is super fun, just kind of twitching the jig along the bottom. Trying to cover some territory. Let's see. I'm telling you they're all identical, like eight and a quarter inches. Well, I was just saying how tough the Berkeley was, but I couldn't believe nothing fit in the tail off yet, and there it went. <laughs> Alright, time to rig up again here. Gosh, I must have left my Berkeley Gulp in the truck, my white ones. So I'm switching back to chartreuse, which is what I normally fish when I'm flounder fishing. Let's hope the perch don't mind. See how this works? Chartreuse with a white jig head. Alright, that was a bite. <laughs> Guess they don't mind. Super bite. These are tiny fish, I can tell. I think I got one that time, finally. He was tenacious. <laughs> Alright, so. First cast with the uh, chartreuse gulp, man, and he choked it. Holy crap, the hook's coming out of his eye almost. Yeah, I want to get this guy. It's going to be a tough hook removal there. God, he still wants it. I'm going to let that guy go. He was super small. Oh my god. So I just, just jigging and getting bites and it was getting close to the boat, so I reeled it up and watched the perch bite the tail off it right at the side of the kayak. That's pretty fun to watch. Man, I love this. Even though they're small, they're like six to nine inch fish in that range, it's still just a blast, man. They're so aggressive. Well, it's time to start again with my drift. I actually haven't explored much water. I located this little spot where there's a, you know, a little island of marsh grass and a big open area with a channel running through it here and a little channel over there. Um, I'm fishing off the point. I've got a couple fish there. I've gotten a lot of fish up on the front side of it. Coming around the point, I, I assume bait is sweeping through there, you know, glass, minnows, shiners, whatever it is they're feeding on. And they were really aggressive this morning. It's been a blast. So I'm going to go back around and start my drift back. Okay, I'm back where this drift begins. Just to slow things down, I decided to... Oh, right on the first drop. Holy cow. Oh, try to give me a second to take it. They're so small, they're just annihilating the thing. Just not getting the hooks at yet. <laughs> this is so much fun, I can't tell you how fun it is to get like bit on every cast. Got him. Oh, he let go. Had him. Had him on for a second. Got him that time. There we go. <laughs> so much fun to catch these little fellas. Mm. Even though they're not, you know, beasts from the deep, it is a ton of action. Non stop. Look how little this guy is. No way he's a deep red. Gotta unhook him from the steel plate here. Measure him up. Yeah, he's like 
seven and a half. Let this little fella go. My GoPro battery died as they are apt to do quite quickly. That doesn't mean the action died out. I'm still catching a ton of these little guys. I'm gonna keep this up for you know another half an hour or so. I've kept a few of the bigger ones. I'm gonna take you know three or four home and then call it a day. We'll have enough for a little fish fry. A lot of the smaller fish have been biting the tails off my gulp, as you can see here. So I'm gonna bait up one more time make a few casts. I'm guaranteeing myself another fish. And I'm getting bit on almost every single cast. Um, but I'm hoping to get maybe one more keeper and then I'm out of here. There you go. Oh, oh, that one's a little better. Oh, no wonder. He is foul hooked like crazy. I hooked him in the butt, for Christ's sake. <laughs> oh my God. How is that even possible? I don't know. Oh. I hooked him right by, his, right by the vent. He should heal up okay though. Thought he was fighting differently. <laughs> That's why. I should leave, but it's hard to leave when I'm getting bit up on every cast. I mean, it's crazy. Um, I'm hoping to get one more decent sized perch, uh, a keeper, and then I'm gonna get out of here. I've caught maybe 10, 12 in a row that were really small, like six inches or so. Now if I get one more, you know, like eight and a half, nine incher, I'm calling it a day. Got him. Too small. Oh well, I guess I gotta keep fishing. <laughs> if you like some of the action you saw today and found it helpful, you know, in learning how to fish, or if you found it helpful as an entertainment uh, source, subscribe, click like, and I will see you again.